Welcome to HeroSync! In this video, we're going to get you from a complete newbie to knowing how to play your first game in under 5 minutes. With the clock ticking, let's get started. HeroSync is a game played between two players. Each player has 400 influence, and as soon as a player's influence drops to zero, they lose the game. Pro tip, don't let this be you. Each player is represented by a hero. In this alpha client, we have five available, each with a pre-built deck, so you can jump straight into the action. In HeroSync, there are three types of cards. You have the followers, who will battle for you, drives, which support you, and counters, to interrupt the enemy. The first card type is a follower. They have a level that tells you which level you need to be equal to or higher than if you want to play the card, a power, which tells you how strong the card is in battle, and below that is the effect. This tells you what the card does. Keep these in mind. Also note that each follower can only have its power buffed up to three times while it's in play. You can learn more about this in our rulebook on HeroSync.com. The second card type is a drive. These also have a level that you either need to match or exceed in order to play the card, but you play them straight from your hand to the fallen area and just apply the effect. These are one-off effects, so when you play one, just do what it says in the text box and send it to the fallen area. The last card type is a counter. These are prepared. Preparing a counter is placing it face down on the field. The level tells you what level you need to be in order to activate it, but not to prepare it. The coolest thing about counters is that you can prepare one of a higher level than you. Just keep in mind, again, you can't activate it until you're that level or greater. Each counter will tell you when it can be used. They do not need to be there for a turn. As long as their condition is met, they can flip up. Once a game starts, you begin by choosing rock, paper, or scissors to see who's going to go first. Malia has beaten me, so it looks like they're going to get to choose and it looks like they've chosen to, chosen to go first. Once a game starts, you begin the game by choosing any one card in your deck to add to your hand. Next, you choose a level one sync reward. You have active sync rewards and passive sync rewards. After you've chosen your sync reward, you draw the rest of your opening hand. Sync rewards are powerful effects you gain each time your hero levels up. Choose wisely and don't forget you have them, they're very strong. You have three follower slots and two counter slots. Drives don't use any slots, so you can always play these. During your turn, you can play as many cards from your hand as you want, as long as you have an open slot and your level is equal to or greater than the card you want to play. Lastly, your hero has sync rewards. These are either passive or active. You can use an active reward once per turn. Passive ones are always on and in use. If you go first, you can't attack on your first turn. Please note you can play a follower, attack, then play more followers and attack again. Just remember each follower can only attack once per turn. Looks like Malia didn't have any other followers. I'm going to play my follower and I'm going to attack. When a follower dies, the controller loses influence equal to 10 times its level. When two followers battle, the bigger one always wins. Killed followers go to the fallen area and if two of them were tied in power, they're both killed. Followers are considered killed if they leave the field and go to the fallen area. If your opponent has no followers, you can attack their hero directly. Then you deduct your power from their influence. As I don't have another level 1 follower, I don't have anything to attack with here. But if I did, it would just be as simple as this, and Malia's influence would decrease accordingly. In this case, by 30. After each player has played a round, both players level up. And you choose one of your level 2 talents. Then, the cycle continues until one player has reached zero influence. And that's it! Everything you need to know to play. If you have any questions or need any help, please come over to our Discord server where we have a great group of guys ready to help out, share in our greatest victories, or even listen to your baddest beat stories. We look forward to seeing you in game. Thanks for watching!